your local two weather authority forecast with Ryan Martin. Ryan Martin joining us back from Dallas now. He was yes. with Ken at the Rangers game, mm -hmm. and I mean, we all just adore him. What was it like being uh, there with him? It was him? a beautiful night in Arlington, and <laughs> Milo right down the middle for a strike. Awesome. awesome. It was Great an weather experience. for it, too. And it was, we'll and we're going to gonna keep. Soon this really nice weather Fantastic. the next couple of days. We'll start things off in the health index. Tree pollen low as well as grass and our mold and weeds are both moderate. This all courtesy of Texan Allergy and Dr. Paul Fulmer. Now our almanac for today, a uh, very nice outside, a little above average, 85 for the high today, just uh, slightly above our average of 82. Fortunately though, way off from our record, 98 degrees. I would not be down for that this time of year. It's fall. We're Looking forward to the 80s. Temperatures across the basin still very nice outside 70s in the central basin. Seeing some 60s over in southeastern New Mexico as well as even seeing the 50s down in Marfa at 59 degrees. A couple areas could drop down there but expect to stay in the 70s and the 60s tonight. Humidity though, we do have a good amount of moisture throughout the basin right now. Marfa seeing those high moisture levels. That's because they had a thunderstorm pass through earlier. We also seeing some heavier moisture up in southeastern New Mexico. They also saw some rain pass through the area earlier today. We also saw some rain over in Houston earlier, but throughout the basin, just a couple areas saw it. Lee County got a little bit of rain activity earlier. We also saw some rain activity over in the Trans-Pecos, but stayed pretty clear throughout the central basin. Uh, and we have this low pressure that's moving up from the south. This is going to give us our very small chance of rain on Monday, only about a 20% chance of rain in the nighttime hours. So don't, don't really expect to see too much of it. A little bit of sprinkles here and there, but that's just about it throughout the week. Mostly clear skies throughout the entire week this week in the basin. 12 miles an hour right now throughout Odessa Midland. Wink as well, seeing some 13 mile an hour wind speeds over in B uh, Big Spring, but looking at pretty calm conditions throughout the trans Peaks. There's 17 mile an hour wind speeds though uh, over in Fort Stockton. Not picking up anything Thing on our wind gusts right now, but we did have peak gusts get all the way up to 20 miles an hour in Wink earlier, 22 in Big Spring, and then 29 over in the Guadalupe Mountains. Now, looking at our regional forecast for tonight, not seeing too much of this lately, but expect to start to see more of this starting uh, in the next couple weeks. Lows down into the 50s, 58 in Andrews, 58 in Seminole, 60 in La Mesa, 57 in Lovington, and 58 in Tatum. Then back up into the 80s tomorrow, 83 in Andrews, 84 in Lovington, Tatum, Seminole, uh, up to 85 in La Mesa, 86 in Gale. Then the Central Basin could hit the 50s tonight uh, in Odessa, Midland and uh, it's going to see that remain in the 60s in Cope Ranch, Big Lake, ranking down to 63, 64 in Crane, 64 in Grand Falls, and 64 in Monahans. Then uh, could touch the 90s tomorrow in Monahans and Grand Falls, but expect to stay in the 80s for the most part in the Central Basin. And then going into the Trans Pecos, low 60s tonight, 64 in Fort Stockton and Bakersfield, Sanderson all the way down to 61. Then tomorrow, Sanderson could get back up into the 80s, but expect a uh, High 80s in Fort Stockton, Bakersfield 86, 85 in Ira and for the for the high. And then going into the mountains as low as 56 in Fort Davis and Valentine, Marfa as well. Pine Springs 57, but the rest of the area should stay in the 60s, 60, 62 in Alpine, 68 in Presidio. And then tomorrow Presidio does have a chance of getting back up into the 80s, but expect low 80s are back up into the 90s in Presidio, but still going to stay in the low 80s in Valentine and Marfa. So a great forecast for your Sunday. And looking at our seven-day forecast, I said we have that small chance of some rain on Monday night, so we're going to put the rain icon there. But look at the rest of the forecast. Mostly clear skies, high 80s, and then even more good news later on in the week. Going to drop down into the mid-80s on Wednesday, and then for the low, or for the high on Thursday and Friday and Saturday, all the way down into the low 80s all throughout the weekend. So good news, clear skies, starting to look a lot like fall. Wonderful news. And I, you know Peter is going to be excited about that because he does not like when weather cancels his football no, or anything. We also don't like to sweat too much when we're out at these sporting events. So or any, any events too. at all. So yeah. thank you, weather. <laughs> all right, Ryan, thank you. All right.